Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It is a great Monday. Happy to be here. Today, we have a very special guest for our show, ladies and gentlemen. Before we do, you can hear that music in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Lieutenant Colonel with the 144th Fighter Wing right out of here in Fresno, California. Blue campaign, ladies and gentlemen! Hey! Good to see you! Good to be seen. Oh man, it has <laughs> been a while since we have seen you and that handsome young man right there. Fellow third grader at uh, Quail Lake, Peyton may know him. Tell who are you? A little louder, <laughs> this is my son Thomas. Excellent, so uh, for all those people who don't know about what you do, Luke, give us just a quick little rundown. Uh, I'm a pilot and system operator at the 144th Fighter Wing at the Air National Guard Base in Fresno, California. So I've been there, I'm going on my 20th year this June. That is amazing, that is awesome. And so you fly F-16s, F-15s. And now the RC-26. So wow. our base had the F-16 and then about 2012, 2013, we changed to the F-15, which they are still flying, but then a couple years ago, I transitioned to a different platform, the RC-26, which is a reconnaissance airframe. Awesome. All right, well, we open up every every time. I used to start with jokes, but I want to start with a thought of the day. All right, thought of the day. So here's today's thought. But first, before I go, do you uh, get the daily newspaper? No. Excellent answer. Perfect. I was assuming you would say no. So here is the thought of the day for everyone at home, and especially for you, Mr. Luke. Did you know that it is darkest before dawn? That's right, so if you're gonna steal your neighbor's newspaper, that is the time to do it. It is the darkest before dawn. So Jeff Morgan, I can't say that if it's missing tomorrow, it was me. It could be him now, it could be him. Armed, armed with the info, now I know. Yeah, I know. All right, so now we're gonna kick off with a couple of jokes. I've been saving these, uh, these uh, jokes for you. I'm gonna kick off with the very first one. What month do military people most dislike? What month? Do most military Ooh. people dislike? That's a good one. I don't know. March. <laughs> March. That's a true statement. All right. One for one for me. All right. I got a problem, Jerry. Okay. The problem with my jokes is they involve airplanes. Oh. So they usually go over people's heads. <laughs> you know what I'm that saying? That is a good one. You know what I'm saying? That is a good one. That is a good one. All right. Miss Payton, do you have one you want to share? Thomas, I think you had a good joke. Let's, let's fire it away. Loud. Why do Quail Lake students want to do their homework on airplanes? Why do Quail Lake students want to do their homework on airplanes? I don't know. Because they want to get higher grades. Oh, <laughs> they want to get higher grades. That is a good one. That is a good one. All right. Why do Navy SEALs fall backwards out of the boat? Why do Navy SEALs fall backwards out of the boat? Because if they fell forward, they would still be in the boat. Okay, he doesn't like it. All right, so, I mean, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. All right. You got one? Okay. I do have one more. All right. What is the difference between a jet engine and our children? What is the difference between a jet engine and our children? I don't know. After the flight, the jet engine stops whining. <laughs> <laughs> top five, that is now my top five. That was good. Uh, you didn't like that one. I love that one. That is in my top five. That, that goes to all the parents that take their kids on an airplane and they yeah. travel. They feel our pain. Yes, they, they do. They, uh, they feel the airport pain. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, shall you do us the honors today? Yes. I hope he will lead us. You want to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? It would be our honor, Thomas. It would be Please. our honor. Come on. All right. Here we go. We'll do it together. Excellent. All right. So before you go, I have a couple. I have a couple questions 
for you that we pulled to test your knowledge of the F-16 and F-15. All right, first, first one is, the F-16 is referred to as what? What is the F-16 referred to as? Two names, two names. Okay. Book answer, the F-16 is the Fighting Falcon, but those that have flown it and love it, call it the, it is the Viper. The Viper, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. That is the answer I have for those of you Top Gun lovers. You all know who Viper is. All right, next question. The F-16's first flight, the very first flight of F-16 was in what year? What year? I'm gonna date myself and I'm gonna tell you is one year before I was born. One year before I was born. Yep, yep, yep. I want to say 1974. They yes, <laughs> yes. Two for two, ladies and gentlemen. Two for two. All right. The F-15 can fly how fast? How fast? You can either give me Mach. Which speed? Mach or miles per hour. You can do either. That's a good question. No, here's the problem. There's a book answer, and there's this. I've never even gotten it that fast before. All right. So why don't I you? I know. The book answer is somewhere over two times the speed of sound. What's the book answer? Uh, the book answer is 2.5. Yes. 2.5. Yes. 2.5. That's 1,900 miles an hour if you're keeping track at home. All right, next question. True or false? The F-15 is the only aircraft to shoot down a satellite. True or false? True. Absolutely. Yes, 100% true, ladies and gentlemen. Only aircraft to shoot down a satellite. Final one, we're gonna go five for five because I believe in you. True or false, <laughs> Mitsubishi was subcontracted to make 100 F-15s. True or false, Mr. Luke? Japan flies the F-15, I'm gonna say true. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, five for five, that is correct. High five for Mr. Luke. Virtual high fives all around. Lieutenant Colonel, I should say, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel. All right, Lieutenant Colonel and son, did you guys brush your teeth today? Yes. Excellent, excellent, because you can't ride with your dad with stinky breath. Did you brush your teeth today? Awesome, what toothpaste do you guys use? Crest! Ladies and gentlemen, we got five going for Crest. The next closest is Sensodyne, which is currently the next Jared, I need to skew your data and I'm gonna push this out to your listeners here. All right. I learned something about Crest. Okay. Not made in the US. What? Not made in the US. Wow, that is mind blowing. Colgate is. Uh oh. We might need. We, we might, might need. switch to Colgate just to support uh, U.S. companies, right? We might need, now more is important than ever. To, we might need to do that. I learned that recently. Wow. Yeah. That is that is mind blowing information. <laughs> that is mind blowing. <laughs> All right, this man is awesome. A member of our military. Give it up. On Monday, we'll be celebrating them. Stay amazing. He's amazing. We will not be here the rest of the week. We will be on location. So we got some surprises. Until then, stay awesome. Thank you for having me. Amen. Appreciate it.